It is so pretty outside. Such a stunning day. Even though it's not officially summer, it feels like it, and I'm gonna act like it is. So, let summer begin. whole video I have just been giving you full vibes and no transcripts no context if you will basically I am just in my full summer era I am really prioritizing being outside right now being outside feeling the sun on my skin getting a tan just like enjoying nature I feel like this week I've just feel so much better mentally because I've been just outside in every capacity. Now, as you know, it is May and I just like seriously cannot believe that it's already May. It's crazy what just like being outside consecutively for a certain amount of time does to you. Like I feel light, I feel airy, I feel soothed, I feel calm. I went to the beach a couple times this week. Trip to the beach is seriously life-changing to say the least. One of the days I couldn't sleep. I was just so anxious. I got in my head about videos that I need to make and like what I need to do to like grow and all this stuff. And I feel like I'm shadow banned on TikTok or something right now. So it's just like I couldn't sleep one night, all night. So I set my alarm for five just in case I did fall asleep because I was like, I need to go to the beach. I need to get out of my head, get off of my phone. I need to go outside. Since I couldn't sleep, I just got up at 4.20 and I went to the beach. I can't sleep. Vlog. I'm here in my car eating breakfast. I want to go down to the beach, however, it's like storming kind of. The waves are crashing, the wind is blowing. If I were to go into the water, people would be like, oh, she has a sentence. I don't really like that. Living life on the edge. One thing that will really put me into place, that will really like completely change my headspace and get me out of a crazy cluster up here is going into the ocean because it's freezing. It's freezing in the ocean and it's scary and that's exciting and it's liberating. And so I was like, I'm going in the ocean and I 
got there and it was so scary. The waves were crashing one after the other. Really hard. I think it rained the night before. The waves are crazy town USA. Like if I were to go in there, I would get trampled. So I didn't get in. I go and I film the whole thing and then I can't even get in the water. So I'm all upset. I'm all like, oh my God, like you can't, you can't even do this. I was like, another one bites the freaking dust and I go home and I'm like, let me just put this video together because like, it's funny, like I can make this comedic. I love, I love my ability to be able to transform things in post. I love editing. It's probably my favorite part about making videos is editing them and I put together this video and I was like let me just throw it up and it popped off and that was just like a little reminder of like you're so in your head you are so in your head and you just need to like do life and don't try to alter it for it to be perfect do what you want to do because that's what becomes authentic that's what makes you authentic and that was a reminder, you're not followed or liked because you're this perfect to the T type of person. You are where you are because you're just yourself. And I go back and forth with that. The only way that I'm validated in my head is when I see success, which is something that I need to work on. I just feel like I'm not I'm not where I want to be, but I'm working on that. I'm I'm currently trying to work on it and work through it. Today we had the picnic outside on the grass and it was literally just so fun. Like I, I think I'm in my nature era. I don't get the whole thing of like a salad on fish day because if there's one thing that I eat, the ugliest it's a salad. I just love outside, like I love nature, I love the beauty of like the world, it's so pretty. I know I'm dramatic, but like all of the little things that just seem so mundane to us and just so bland and normal to us, the only reason it's like that is because we see it every day. But if you take a second to really look at it and like admire the beauty of what's in front of you, it is seriously <laughs> breathtaking. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that like my plan has always been to travel everywhere, like live everywhere. I wanted to move here for like a year or two and then go somewhere else. And like, it's been two years. I want to see the world and I wanna move other places and live other places because I feel so inclined to see the world that I've been put on. Like I wanna see it. And there are days where I'm like, I wanna move, like I just wanna, there's nothing holding me back cause I've already done it before. I've done it before and I can do it again. But I literally, I just love it here. I have a lot of opportunities in California. The thought of like, you have opportunities here, establish this life here, you have your house here, your roommate, like you bought all this stuff and this furniture, like that is sometimes daunting. Cause it's like, does that mean I can't go to a different country? And then I quickly remind myself like, as silly as it is, like, this is your life. You live one of it. Like, I have made friends and I have just established this amazing life. I know my surroundings. I feel safe here. I feel so happy here. But that doesn't mean I can't do the exact same thing I did when I was 20 somewhere else, you know? I don't want to fall into the thinking of, you're stuck here, or you have to stay here for the rest of your life. 
I remind myself often that that's not my reality, even though there's more parts to it now. The only thing that would hold me back from anything that I want or longed for is myself. So, I don't know when it's gonna be, but I just wanna experience the world. I wanna see it. I'm so excited for what's to come. This is randomly sentimental. Sav is asking me if I need anything from Trader Joe's and I sure do, Sister King. I sure do and I will send you over my order. Thank you. Anyways, that was just a whole spiel because I love summer and it makes me wanna travel. It makes me wanna go everywhere with my friends. my summer spiel but I want to make a little playlist to show you guys the vibe I'm on if I've made it I'll put it like right here but I don't know if I'm, I'll make it we'll see we sure will see we'll see if I decide to work I'm fully in a outdoorsy era and I love that y'all saw that period of me fully inside doing the cozy stuff doing the winter autumn stuff doing the Gilmore Girls stuff watching my movies cleaning cooking Y'all saw that and y'all said, you're a vibe and a half. Y'all said it's comforting and it really was. It was comforting to make. It was comforting to watch, but let's enter this new era of going outside of that. You know what I'm saying? Let's, let's, I'm gonna try and make y'all feel comforted when we're not in the house. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable, you know? My goal for this week is to make this video feel the mo most, to make this video feel the most comfy, feel like, to make this video feel like the most comfiest, to make, to make this video feel comfy as well and comforting and cozy. Anyways, I really just talked for so long, guys. Like I deleted like eight videos in this camera so that I could keep talking because I was losing space. I don't know if I said anything. I'm just reflecting on my week and it was such a great week. I kind of just blabbed, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it made sense. And if it didn't, you know I'll fix it in post. <laughs> Cause that's what I do best. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. And if you do, please let me know. I love reading the comments. You guys are literally the best, like it's crazy. Like, I don't think you understand how great you are. If you want long videos where they're unedited and I'm just talking, I'm fully being myself. I have a podcast with my best friend and my roommate, Sav. You should check it out. It's called Call You Back. We come out with new episodes every two weeks and we talk a lot of crazy stuff. There's boy talk, there's girl talk, there's 
crazy stories about our past and present. Like I just told you guys about this bookie that I met and then he went to jail and then he called me. Like the tea brews over there. The tea surely does brew. Check it out. If you like it, subscribe. If you don't like it, don't subscribe. You know what I'm saying? But I love you, Illy, Amelie, and I'm gonna call you back soon. Go outside, okay?